This I Transfuse podcast is based on fact sheets you can find at transfusion.com.au, the Australian Red Cross Blood Service website for health professionals. Is ABO the only blood group system? No, ABO is the blood group that most people would be familiar with, but there are also other blood group systems such as RH, Kel and Duffy. Okay, so what exactly is D? The RH blood group system has around 45 different red cell antigens. D is the most important antigen in this system. Could you remind us what antigens are? Sure. Antigens are proteins or carbohydrates that our immune system can recognise. Is the D antigen known as anything else? Yes, it is. RH used to be called rhesus and was named after a species of monkey that were being used for research into blood types. This name is no longer used. These days, it's referred to as RHD, RH factor, or RH1. Where is the D antigen found? All of the different RH antigens, including D, are found in the red blood cell membranes. Does everyone have D? No, not everyone. In Australia, about 83% of people will have RHD on their red cells. This means their blood type is RH positive. The other 17% who do not have D on their red cells are therefore RH negative. Does this percentage vary in different countries? Yes, it does. For example, in India, less than 5% of the population are RH negative. For those of African descent, more than 99% of the population are RH positive, meaning that less than 1% are RH negative. So, does it matter if someone is RHD negative? If you are RHD negative, your immune system can make antibodies to attack RHD if you are exposed to it during transfusion or pregnancy. Can we prevent RHD negative patients developing an RHD antibody? Yes, we can, simply by never giving RHD positive red cells to these patients. Okay, so what happens if it's not known whether someone is RH negative or positive? We always play it safe. If it is an emergency situation and there is no time to test for the RH blood group, only RH negative blood will be transfused. That is why O RH negative is known as the universal red cell donor. Can you tell me more about being exposed to RHD? You can either be exposed to RHD by receiving a transfusion or through pregnancy. If a fetus in the mother's womb is RHD positive, and the mother is RHD negative, the mother may produce antibodies to attack the fetal red cells. If this happens, these antibodies can destroy the fetal red cells, causing anemia in the fetus. This is known as hemolytic disease of the fetus and newborn. Why might this occur? Hemolytic disease of the newborn, or HDN, will only occur after a previous exposure to RHD. What do you mean by previous exposure? An RHD negative woman, pregnant with an RHD positive fetus, may act as the first exposure. In subsequent pregnancies, the mother's immune system may produce high levels of antibodies targeting RHD. These may then cross the placenta into the fetus, destroying the fetal red cells. Can hemolytic disease of the newborn be severe? HDN always causes anemia, which may be severe enough to be life-threatening. How can HDN be prevented? We must prevent the mother making antibodies targeting RHD. How can this be done? It's important to know that fetal red cells often get into the mother's blood. If we give the mother some antibody targeted at the fetal RHD, they will be destroyed before the mother's immune system makes her own antibodies. This antibody is known as anti-D. Where does anti-D come from? Anti-D can only be made from a select group of blood donors. These donors must have RHD negative blood and have the anti-D antibody. They donate plasma and have injections to stimulate antibodies ahead of their donations. The Australian Red Cross Blood Service has a special anti-D program to ensure that we have sufficient anti-D supplies. The fact sheets and podcasts are designed to provide basic information to people without training in health or science. They are not intended to be medical or professional advice. The disclaimer on transfusion.com.au applies to this podcast. For more information or to view the fact sheets, log on to transfusion.com.au. 
To become a blood donor, log on to donateblood.com.au.